Iceworld of Kanak is home to a dark secret. The Imperial Death World had an incident that has long been forgotten by the annuals of time. Today, we look at this foreboding tale. And today's sponsor, Awesome. Awesome is the go-to software for controlling your PC from your mobile device wherever you like. And the great thing is, it's completely free to download for Windows, iOS, and Android right now. As you can see, I'm defending a stronghold here in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 from my phone. Holding back tides of undead with ease thanks to Awesome's customizable keyboard, so I'll never miss a button. They've also launched a smart plug, so now there's no need to keep your computer switched on all the time. With one tap of a button from your phone, you can now remote wake up and shut down your computer, giving you even more accessibility. It's not just games though, you can also control your desktop with a virtual mouse, which comes in very handy. It even supports gameplays of up to 144 FPS. Awesome offers some great prices and sales too. Get up to 40% off your purchase. As a bonus, the fine people at Awesome have given you this code here to get a seven day free trial of their remote gaming features. This is only available for the first 200 subscribers, so grab it while you can. Once again, thanks very much to Awesome for sponsoring today's video. On Kanak, the undead forces of chaos assault the fortress monasteries that litter this landscape. With only a few regiments remaining on the planet, they try to hold back the undead hordes, but their numbers seem unending. Here, in Sector 9F, the Fortress of the Glade makes its last stand against a giant horde of 8 million undead chaos. The men and women of the Astra Militarum stand strong, ready to repel their attack, but their supplies are running low. With this, they make a desperate bid to rush out of the keep and try to break the assault, knowing that staying within the walls would surely be a death sentence. Looking at the tactical map, we can see there's about 40,000 Death Corps of Krieg here, defending the walls with about a thousand autocannons and about 100 Lehman Russ battle tanks in support. Joining them also is 10,000 Cadian gunners and 15,000 Imperial Lancers. This is all they have to stand against the tides of 8 million chaos about to crash against their walls. If you do enjoy today's content, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling extra special. With all that being said, let's get on with today's slaughter. Here we are then, ladies and gentlemen, kicking off today's battle. And already, oh my god, we've already surpassed 10,000 kills in the opening seconds here. As our Imperial Guard Lancers here surge forward right into the Undead Horde. And the Undead Horde seemingly melting against the Lancers here under the extreme firepower here of the Imperial Guard. Look at this. The Zombie Horde here absolutely just literally melting like a hot knife through butter. Decimation is occurring, ladies and gentlemen. Already 120,000 have been killed. Now, the Imperial Guard tactic here today, ladies and gentlemen, realizing that they're surrounded by 8 million zombies on all sides, they've opted to push out of the keep here and try to smash their way through the lines and get themselves to freedom. As you can see, though, that is going to be one hell of a challenge with this many zombies around them currently. The men of Krieg here offering to defend at the rear of the keep here. Of course, the men of Krieg would do such a thing. It is within their nature. They're not going to give up the keep, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've got at the front then is Cadians and Lancers charging forward. They're going to be the ones trying to break through and break the way out of it. Like I said, the men of Krieg here holding the rear line and the castle walls holding back the tide of undeath, which is already... Oh my god, we're already at 360,000 losses here to 2,000 to the defenders. This is an absolute massacre so far. As we can see over here, Lancers are indeed holding back the tide. Over here, no Lancers. Over here, Lancers. Look at this, holding back the tide of undeath. Now, we have done some damage to property value in the area a little bit, but it does not matter. Life is on the line here, and they're doing a damn good job here, holding them back, pushing them back through the tiny little forest here, leaving behind them a mosaic of death. Look at all them bodies. Oh my god, that is a lot of them. Already half a million kills have been surpassed. This is absolutely insane. The Imperial Guard here pushing up to the hill that they've now cleared out. Fire superiority is the order of the day here, and that's exactly what the Cadians are doing here, pushing out towards the remote village on the outskirts of the keep here. The Canadian's doing a damn fine job combined with the Lancers, though. I'm a little bit worried about these Lancers in the center here. 
The Acadians seem to be going up for the uh, the hills either side here. Not many of them seem to be rushing forward to support the centre. They have got a good old fire group over here at the back, but how much use they're going to be? Because look how far back they are compared to the other fire supports. But we are getting more and more troops appearing on this hill, which is actually going to be quite crucial. The more troops we can get on this one, the better. You see, this has got an extremely good vantage point. The troops can basically see the entire of the center mass over here, all the way around the flank as the zombies keep pouring in over here. And look at this, we can even see over onto this flank here. So it's vitally important that the Imperial Guard manage to capture it and hold this hill. As you can see, more and more men are trying to push up onto it as we speak. These lancers, though, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. They have pushed forward with monumental momentum here. Unfortunately, that momentum means that the line is starting to thin out in areas. There's not many here holding this. You see, the further and further they push out, the more and more of a line they have to defend. However, it has been quite successful so far for them, so I'm not going to complain. As we rapidly approach 1 million kills already, that is absolute insanity here. And let's go for a bit more of an overhead view so we can see what's actually happening over here. So yeah, you can see where the Lancers are. They are doing a bang up job of pushing back that horde. Though, I think the Imperial Guard needed more of a concentrated force if they were thinking of breaking through these massive, massive herds of undead that currently surround them. Look at that. Oh, that is so many of them. Let's go have a look how the Men of Krieg doing over here on the back line. Holding out firm and resolutely as we'd expect. Auto cannons in the background blasting through 50 zombies with every single shot. They are some really powerful guns and a wall of dead bodies is starting to mount up here at the back. The men of Krieg on the front line shovels at the ready, just decapitating zombies as they run up to them. Those on the back line, their last guns, burning hearts, auto guns, almost running out of ammo I would possibly say at this moment in time. Like, that's one thing that I've always found insane. Like, can you... Um, I know, like, uh, normal last guns charge, like, just through normal heat. But auto guns. Can you imagine how many cargo ships worth of auto gun ammunition you'd actually need to supply an Imperial Guard army? I would imagine it, you're talking a fleet of just ammo ships, realistically. The amount of ammunition that must be consumed on the battlefront is insane. But looking at over here... Oh, no, we've got a little breakthrough here. It looks like our Imperial Lancers stretch themselves a little bit too thin. Again, none of the Kriegsmen have pushed up, unfortunately. The Krieg said they'd defend the keep, and that is exactly what they're doing. They're living up to their promise. If the Imperial Lancers want to go and get themselves killed, that's their problem as far as the men of Krieg are concerned at the moment. Oh, look at this. The hill has been nicely cleaned out now. The zombie's not really able to push up quite effectively, but our center line has collapsed. Oh, no. The center line has collapsed over here. Not enough lancers in the center. The Cadians didn't push up enough. They did not manage to secure the center properly here now. And the tide of death, a deluge of undead, is coming forward. But to be fair, the Cadian guns are really, really strong. And they're just hammering home death after death into that front line. Not many of them are making it that far forward at the moment. We do still have some spearmen up here, I do think. Don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. So we do have some spearmen over here still. Is there any on this side? No. Okay, there's none on this side, realistically. Okay, so, yeah, the center has fallen now. The men of Cadia are realizing that the center has fallen. Moving up here, trying to actually fill in that gap now, which is a bit strange. You would have thought they would have done it when the lancers were there. But look at how many are now on top of this hill. And look at the fire superiority that they are laying down here. Oh, my God. That is a lot of death that is happening from this hill. The zombies just are not able to push forward, even with the... I know that there's still lancers here, but look at the sheer amount of death that happens here. There's so many bullets just racking into this zombie horde. Again, the problem that the lancers are going to face is that they're going to be able to push for too far forward, and they're going to run out of support here. In fact, I think they're just running out of men on this line here. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to get a surge? I think we might get a surge at any moment here. Yeah, I think we're about to run out. Oh my god, this could be extremely deadly for the defenders on the hill. Let's see what happens here as the last of the spearmen start to fall in that corner over there. Already on the rest of the line, though, you can see that the zombies are starting to make their way forward. Oh no, this is getting really hair-raising now. The Imperials, though, not deterred by the falling 
of their lances here. Their guns at the ready, just laying down the smackdown on these zombies. Look at them as they're pouring forward. Look at all that blood just pouring out of them. They are getting layered. Oh my god, the body piles are going to get really high in this area. As you can see now, the Cadians from the center have pushed up. Realizing the error of their ways now, they've pushed up into the center here. Trying to form some semblance of a defense. Let's go have a look how we're doing on the back lines now. Let's see how we're doing over here. Okay, so it looks like we've only got a few Lancers left now defending this area. Oh yeah. They're pushing forward now with absolute vigor, the zombies are. Again... The Kriegsmen now have pushed up further forward, realizing that there's no Lancers left. Look at this. Look at that insane body pile. Oh my god. And look at the blood. The men of Krieg up to their waist. Ladies and gentlemen, little Timmy, get out your rubber dinghy. Fun for the entire family. The tanks here holding out. They will take, literally live up to the name and take lots and lots of punishment here from the zombies. That will give the men of Krieg plenty of time to get some form of defense going here. But it looks like the real line's actually just collapsed as we've look, come to look at it here. You can see this massive mound of bodies here. This is where the men of Krieg were holding before. And now the undead are just surging forward over it. Oh my god, look at them. The men of Krieg trying to hold out here and they've done such a good job up until this point. But that corner just appears to have just fallen there. But the rest of the line is actually looking kind of spicy at the moment. Look at this, the zombies with the big flat open ground here, unable to push forward with any real meaningful effect for now. But the, the Imperial Guard defenders here though, they're coming up to 30,000 losses. But the attackers, 2.5 million losses, ladies and gentlemen. The defenders have done a bang up job so far. <laughs> oh my, we've got our blood pools. I am happy, Pinky. Let's go have a look at uh, a bit more of an out of view here, see what we can see that's going on. So you can see, though, that they are being held away from the keep. The Imperial Guard are living up to it. Now, like I said, this hill over here, extremely important. And as you can see, it's now directly under assault. I would go ahead and say that all the Imperial Guard Lancers have probably perished at this point. Maybe there's one or two left, but no meaningful amount here. Oh, my God. Just look at that unending sea. And look at the body bobsleigh that we've got going on here. More and more zombies just pushing into this flank now. Nothing is holding them back anymore, apart from sheer weight of firepower. And, of course, the men of Krieg with the shovels at the ready as the front line just deteriorates into absolute chaos. All you can see here is just death rushing forward, being met by extreme gunfire. Bodies start to pile up as the blood starts to flow. Explosions from the Lehman Rust battle tanks. Impathable terrain that the AI is going to drown itself in. Oh my, it's all to play for here. Look at this. The tank backing up here into the Blood River. And its engines choking out. The zombies successful there in taking them down. It looks like we're slowly but surely seeing the collapse of this line here, ladies and gentlemen. This Blood Lake has been providing excellent cover, though, for the defenders. Look at this. The zombies now unable to path through the Blood Lake have split into either side of it, which is going to help these gunners over here immensely. Like I said, each shot from these, taking out 50-odd zombies with every single blow. And look at this. The zombies have really pushed up on this area now. The entire rear end of the Fortress Monastery is collapsing, ladies and gentlemen. But the men of Krieg are not faltering. They are still holding... I mean, I honestly think that the flanks are going to last longer than the castle defences at this point. Look at this. This is an absolute slaughter over this side. The body pile that they made over here. Oh my god, this wasn't here just when we last made our way around. It is getting really deep as well. Look at this blood. This is going to become impathable. In fact, this is impathable at this part here. This is getting really desperate now for the defenders here. I think their gambit of trying to push out has not paid off. They have managed to keep the enemy away from the keep, but I don't think they're going to actually manage to break through like they were hoping here. You can see that Cadians have pushed up to the very front here to try and get some semblance of a front line. Thousands of zombies are being killed every single second at the moment. The fire superiority from the hilltop over here being invaluable, really, to that front line. I mean, just look at this arc of fire here. They can shoot directly at the top line of the bodies. That is going to be really, really good. Again, same over here. Cadians, realizing the area of the ways earlier, have now pushed forward and are trying desperately to hold some semblance of a line on the frontier. 
though it doesn't like the flanks are starting to collapse bit by bit the, the kriegsmen are rushing forward here look at this there's quite a few krieg now making their way forward realizing that this is a gap that needs to be filled the front line is a wash of death and blood yet again there's only 27,000 defenders remaining here but 3.3 million kills are on the cards oh my god our blood pool is getting bigger as well with every passing second it does look like then that the enemy have managed to push up basically to the entire rear of the, ca uh, the castle here but the portacullus is still remaining it is holding firm a good couple of lehman rosses and auto cannons here just laying the smack down into the zombies that dare get close enough to the emperor's holy temple here absolutely fantastic stuff by the defenders so far what i think we're going to quickly do is we're going to go scoot over to the frontier oh my god look at that lovely blood, blood patch that we've made here we're going to quickly hit a time lapse camera and wait to see what happens we're either going to hit three million enemies remaining or the front line here is going to collapse we'll be back in a moment Well, ladies and gentlemen, it comes down to this. As you can see, the Cadians here now making their last stand on the hill. Unfortunately, the front line did collapse eventually. Their fire superiority was not enough to deter the horde of millions and millions of undead. The entire front line now is collapsing. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at all these zombies now surging forward through the blood. Oh, my God. This desperate gambit here by the Imperial Guard has been a fatal mistake, it would appear to be. But look at this, in the background, there is some semblance of a defensive line starting to fall. But yeah, that hill on that side now has completely collapsed and the zombie horde is just surging forward relentlessly into this area. However, there is still a hell of a lot of gunners in this area, ladies and gentlemen. They might be able to hold out just that little bit longer. They have got a lot of fire superiority in this area, as you can see. As long as this flank holds over here, I think we should be all good. We... Oh. Okay, it looks like this flank over here is getting a little bit shaky. More and more gunners need to appear over here. We need more, more, more. The men of Krieg cannot let this side collapse here. That would be absolutely fatal. Though, to be fair, they are sort of a little bit distracted now with the uh, center here that has just been absolutely rushed with zombies. It actually kind of feels like most of the defenders might actually be in this little area here. There's only 15,000 of them remaining. Oh my god, look at all these bulgy piles here. Look at them. There's like six or seven individual body piles here. That is absolutely insane. The defenders have put up a valiant fight. Look at this blood pile. Oh, blood pool even. That would be a better way to describe it here. Little Timmy, get out your merchant ship. This is fun for the entire family here. The back portal is here, holding out. Them tanks been invaluable in this defense. Look at this. Point blank, blasting zombies in the face with them Lehman Rust tank shells. The auto cannons are laying into the sides of the zombies as they try to push up that little ramp area. Though this flank over here holding out a little bit better, as you can see, this property. Oh my god, look at that. The blood has pulled up to the roof of this house. That is absolutely insane. If there was any civilians taking shelter in there, that is a horrible grim way to go. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I said earlier that we were going to be destroying some property value. And you know what? We absolutely have. Oh my god, look at this village. We've covered the village in corpses. There was a house over here somewhere. The house has just completely vanished underneath bodies. That's absolutely fantastic. I mean, we almost buried this house as well, to be fair. Look at this. We got pretty damn close to burying that one. Not quite there. We gave it a nice little pool extension, though. <laughs> oh, my God. And, yeah, look at this. We've got one last blood pool to inspect here, which, frankly, is ridiculously deep also for what it is. But we are still holding this ground firmly here. You can see the zombies trying to push around the back, but they're not having much success just yet. They hit, oh my god, I can't believe this. 4.5 million kills to the defenders. There's only 3 million enemies remaining now at this point. They are still holding out the keep, which is really impressive as well. The fact that the zombies have not been able to push this area at all, even though it's been under constant assault. Though I will say, the tanks do look like they're starting to falter one by one. 
but there is still plenty of men of creek behind that gate look at that there's these auto guns as well all along the walls still you know there's still quite a lot of defenders remaining here it's going to get very very spicy and down to the wire will the defenders be able to hold out ladies and gentlemen only time will tell <laughs> and body piles of course oh my yet again we're going to hit another quick tile lapse camera we're going to see if this outer line here holds or are they going to get pushed back to the the keep we'll be back in a moment And with that, the outer defences of the Fortress Monastery of the Glade fall silent. There's only now a few men and women of the Astra Militarum remaining on the outer walls, desperately defending a cliff face against overwhelming odds. Over 5 million enemies have perished to get to this point. Only 2.7 million remain against the 2,000 defenders, desperately trying to hold back the tide of undeath that is now battering against the porticolis and gatehouses of either side of the keep. The men and women of the Astra Militarum know that no sacrifice is too great. And with that, the reflector field is overloaded. I do hope you had a blast, ladies and gentlemen. I know I did. Please do come and like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all our channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button below. And if you are a channel member, your extra content is now available. So go ahead and check that out. And if you're after some Warhammer short stories or bonus features, go ahead and check out the Chaotic Pinky website. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.